live at Doak S. Campbell Stadium in Tallahassee, Florida. Tonight, it's the sixth-ranked Gators of Florida in town to take on the eighth-ranked Seminoles of Florida State. Shannon Baker on the near side, the speedster from Lakeland, Florida, and Eric Terrell, number seven, to the far side. And they are waiting for the kick from Ryan Ruland. He is a six-foot, 190-pound freshman. This comes to Terrell from the three. Hit at the 20-yard line, and that's where they will scrimmage. On offense tonight, Casey Weldon, the youngster from Tallahassee, will open at quarterback. And he will have behind him Edgar Bennett and Amp Lee. Keep an eye on number 42, very good one. Lawrence Dossie, certainly the choice as far as the receivers. Shannon Baker on the other side. The tight end is Reggie Johnson. Up front, Robbie Baker is the center. The two guards, Haynes and Mike Morris. Morris probably the best of the offensive linemen. Robert Stevenson gets the call tonight. Lee. Florida State tries to keep it on the ground. 4-4 defense for Florida. Culpepper and Mike Brandon are the defensive tackles. The defensive ends, Huey Richardson and Mark Murray, both very active and very good. Tim Paul and Jerry Odom, the inside linebackers, on the outside, Fee Barkley and Godfrey Miles. Miles is actually what they call the gator back. Richard Fain and Jimmy Spencer are the corners, and they have one safety, Will White. He is an All-American, according to the coaches poll, which has just been released. Weldon for his first throw of the night. Pumps one's oh. going to go long, and he's got him wide open. Dossie, and he will score. <laughs> Dossie. They, this time they baited him, went out and up, and got the big touchdown to start the football game. With the win, Houston, well, he's going to return it. Wow. Breaks it out over the 20. Ball comes loose, but he was down at the 23. Eric Rett, ball is fumbled. Still in the air and is recovered by Howard Dinkins for Florida State. The line of scrimmage, the 34-yard line of Florida following the fumble. Running play and Amp Lee able to have maybe a couple to the 31. Two minutes of this football game yet. Puts it up and going long for Shannon Baker. Knocked away. Jerry Odom is out at linebacker. Dell Spear comes in as the extra defensive back for the Gators. Weldon under pressure. Delivers it incomplete. That's Baker who he wanted. And again, number six, Jimmy Spencer had the cover. 47-yard attempt by Andrews. Got the distance, and he's good. What a start by the Seminoles of Florida State. We still have 12.57 left to play in this opening quarter. It's now 10 to nothing. When we showed you Florida this year, it's very evident that they can total it up in a hurry. Andrews' kick is going to come down to number 84, Harrison Houston. Gators, we never got to introduce them. Young Shane Matthews out of Pascagoula, Mississippi, at quarterback. His running backs, Kelvin Randolph and Willie McClendon. The wide receivers, both very good ones. Terrence Barber and Ernie Mills. The tight end, this is the feature man. Kirk Kirkpatrick up front the offensive line. Cal Dixon is at center. The guards, Hesman Ismail and Chris Bromley. And the tackles, Mark White and Tony Roel.
running play will go for absolutely nothing. Welcome to the ball game. This is the way they line it up. James Cheney is the nose guard. James is only a junior. Henry Ostaszewski and Troy Sanders are the defensive tackles. The backers on the inside, it's Marvin Jones and Kirk Carruthers. On the outside, Anthony Moss and Howard Dinkins, who recovered the fumble a moment ago. McCorby and Buckley are the corners. And the safeties, Bill Reagans and Leon Fowler. There's a dead ball foul. False start on Florida. Five yards, still second down. They're going to have some problems. So let's get it going. Matthews cocks and throws, and that one is underthrown. He has his timing right. He can throw. Over the middle, has it complete. Out to the 31-yard line. Yeah. Running play with Eric Rett. Baker with an audible. You can see Kirkpatrick come up out of the stance, hollering, what did you say? As Rett gets the ball, quick pursuit, flag comes down, and that might be a face mask as he went by. Cheney There's holding finally stopped on him. Florida. Yeah, there was. Short drop, and he has it complete to Kirkpatrick, who will be knocked out of bounds at the 36. He sees all of those Seminoles close to the line of scrimmage. 25-second clock is down to two. Gets it off. Pass is caught by Mills. In Florida, nope, now they're going to say he caught it out of bounds. And Matthews does have great touch. Throws it right in his face. Let's see if he gets a foot in. Yes, yep. he got both in. feet in. Draw play with Rep. He'll have a couple around the 46. First time that the Gators have been across midfield this evening. Pumped it once. Going to go long looking for Mills, and that's incomplete. Third down. They need the 38. Over the middle, wide open is Rett. And he rambles inside the 30-yard line. And this is the 10th play of the drive. He'll step out of bounds at the 25. Kevin Randolph and Eric Rett. The two backs for Florida. Rett. Popped hard at the line of scrimmage. It's Oh, did he have him open, and because of the pressure, and this will be a 41-yard attempt. He's got it. Arden Krzyzewski, now 15 of 19, and Florida gets on the scoreboard. It's a 10-3 ball game, Seminoles. Ryan Ruland to kick it off. At the 11-yard line, Terrell. Oh, does he take a shot from the backside at the 31-yard line? Reverse, Dawson. Right there at home, and he gets by Murray, and now he's going to pay for it as he'll be stopped short of the 35. And yeah, they thought he was only going to go about 20 or 25 plays, didn't they? Yes. Good play action by Weldon. The pass incomplete. So uh, touchdown. Yeah, that's pretty good. Pass over the middle. It is complete to his running back. Moore. Ball is loose. No, Casey Weldon thought it was going to be a first down. Well, we saw him practice that play, and that is an illegal shift. Red ball foul. 
up five on Florida. Oh five my! Yards, first down. Oh my! Jim first. Bates is livid, and I don't blame him. You bet. And that's when he got bumped. So the five yards and first down, Seminole. Pass in the flat from Weldon. Jerry Odom will make the tackle. And Ampley cuts it to the outside. Hang on. Inside the 35, and it's Will White. Flag comes down. There's a dead ball. Ball start. Florida State, five yards, still first down. Little draw play. Paul Moore. And he will be down at the 35. Good look at Robbie Baker, number 51, a sophomore from Fort Myers. Kind of smallish for a center in this uh, day and age, 6'3", 240. Screen pass incomplete. Florida State first down at the 17-yard line, a completed pass to Fryer. Weldon with a short drop, going to the end zone, looking for Fryer on the other side, and that is overthrown. Jimmy Spencer, second down, the line to make just inside the eight. Weldon puts it on his hip. P. Bartley stays at home, but the pass is thrown complete to Bennett. It's going to be first and goal, Seminole. Be careful. 25 second clock is down to one. They get it off. And hit and knocked down behind the line of scrimmage is Amp Lee. That Weldon hit as soon as he throws the ball, and that's great pressure. Weldon out of the backfield, and Lee is, Touch. they're going to call it a touchdown. The referee got knocked down almost behind our camera. Amp Lee has enough to get to the end zone and just knocked the pile on down. That's a touchdown, got a ball, the ball right across the line. The point is good. Illegal participation on Florida. A pooch so they don't just put him on the 20-yard line. Up they're going to kick it away. <laughs> Draw play with Eric Red. He'll have the first down as he brings it out across the 30 to the 31. Shane in the five-step drop has a complete Trey Everett. They're going to spot him down across the 38-yard line. As well, Steve Spurrier. Yeah, that's for sure. Draw play red again, stumbling forward, and he will have an extra five. Leading ball carrier for this uh, Gator football team at 788 yards. Over the middle, Kirk Patrick inside the 40, and he's out of bounds at the 37. John Davis. Two catches for him now for 27 yards. Pressure coming up the middle is Rep and Oscar Tuzuski is right there to hit him. Whole game, and he's been doing it so far. They just haven't been able to stop him. On second and long, Matthews over the middle, and Terrence Barber incomplete at the nine-yard line. He knew he had man-to-man, -man and he laid it up where just his receiver could catch the ball. Third down, Matthews' delivery is caught by Mills. Breaks the tackle, they're going to say he stepped out of bounds at the 17-yard line. McShane Matthews for 107 yards. <laughs> Rep inside the 10-yard line. He'll be short of the first down. That is the end of the first quarter, so they got time to talk about it, but they need seven badly. Florida State by 14. They're down by 14 as we open the second quarter. Reagans is all over him. All-out blitz. Face mask. Florida State. <laughs> Second down and 12. Yeah. 
You see the blitz coming from the outside. Wide open is Mills for the touchdown. Head ball. Delay of game. Florida. Still second down. The first signal we got yeah, was, was holding. holding. <laughs> now they're saying delay of game. Matthews falls down. It will be third down. Flag goes down. Pass is tipped and intercepted. John White. The flag at the line of scrimmage is going to be for Florida not having enough men at the line of scrimmage. And please. Hit with a good tackle at the nine yard line by Jerry Odom. He's Blitz coming up the middle from Florida. The pass complete to Dossie. Crosses the 20 to the 23 and Richard Fain. Face mask. Florida. Means one thing. He really was not aiming at him. It's two face masks on one play. Straight up the middle with Edgar Bennett and he breaks it out. 17 to 3. Florida State on top. Weldon pass incomplete and let's go to Tim Brando. Baker to Dossie on the reverse going long for Shannon Baker and he's out there. Watch Casey Weldon put this right on the money. And back there, coverage this time is number 44, V. Bartley. Their catch is called for. And right now, Florida needs to take advantage of some wild things because they're down by 14 points. Matthews hums it complete to Barber. Pushed out of bounds. He'll have the, the first down. You know, I'm not going to throw them all perfect, although that was about as good as I can throw it. <laughs> 9 to 14, one interception for Matthews. Shane drills it complete. Oh my goodness, Willa McClendon almost had his headgear taken off right before the last interception. Big play in this game, also. White's in the blitz from the outside, and the running play, as you would think, would go well. Steve Spurrier's offense so padded and disciplined. Matthews will take it on the quarterback sneak. And he lines up anyway. Very tough to find and account for. Pitch comes to Eric Rett. Rett crosses midfield and is down at the 45. As we had Florida a couple of times last year, and they didn't like to put that thing <laughs> in the air too very much. Back to Matthews going long, and it is incomplete. Mills was the man he wanted. Third down. They need a couple. White comes in the blitz and he makes the tackle. Wow. So is from Pascagoula, former teammate of Shane Matthews. Back to receive the punt. Makes it and falls down at the 11-yard line. Maybe not necessarily okay. He's got to wait till after the game to get hurt. Pass is complete as the flag is down at the line of scrimmage. Illegal procedure. Florida State. Also made the point that the bowl game might have cost him about $2 million. <laughs> Draw play to Lee and Mark Murray as his Seminoles up 17 to 3. Amp Lee tries to pop it to the outside and he is close to the 15. Third down. Weldon. He's got Dossie there, and it's incomplete. As Fain at the last minute, but he had to do it. McLaren to kick off the side of his foot at the 35 and comes out of bounds right in front of his head coach. And if you're going to kick one like that, that's the last thing you want. Matthews has it incomplete and almost intercepted. Howard Dinkins, take a look at me. I was open on that last play. Shane's going to run it. 
at the 25, and he goes down at the 20-yard line. He'll have the first down plus about six or seven. He's got a number that everybody's trying to put out tonight. Over the middle has Barber inside the five-yard line. First and goal, Gators. Pitch comes to Rhett. Breaks off a tackle, and he is down to the one-yard line. Straight ahead, touchdown. Two in a row for him. And he does. And our ball game now with 5-12 left until halftime. Florida State 17 and the Gators 10. And from Florida and Florida State. Here's Roland's kickoff. And it's going to come down to Baker at the nine. Florida State scored the first three times they had their hands on the ball. They had punted the last two. It's Weldon, very cool, and he's going to run it. To the 30, 32-yard line, and it's Jerry Odom. Weldon, great protection, puts it up long, and it is tipped away. Dossie is the man he wanted, and Richard Fain. Third down. The line to make is the 39-yard line. You see the stunt inside as Weldon steps up into the pocket, throws it complete. Edgar Bennett out to the 50-yard line. That's to tell him who the linebacker is. Hampley gets to the outside. That'll be 10 yards and a gain of 11. 37 yards for Lee on eight carries. Straight ahead with Bennett. He gets wax spins off the tackle. It's a great second effort. It's Godfrey Mine. And they're doing it in a half right here. Pass to Lee. First and goal at the seven. Godfrey Miles finally made the stop. There's a dead ball foul. False start. Florida State, five yards. 210 left until the halftime. Draw play. Amply. Will finally be stopped by Fain at the five-yard line. Eighth play of the drive. Little boot action. Pass is incomplete. And now a flag comes down in the end zone. Yeah. Pass interference. Florida. Florida and I penalized seven times for 54 or 57 yards. Touchdown, Bennett. Hits into somebody and bounces in the end zone for the touchdown. Nice drive. Answering a touchdown. Richie Andrews' extra point is good. And with 1-11 left until halftime, Seminoles having scored 24 first-half points on a very good defense. Ball is fumbled by Duncan. When they get it. Willa McClendon takes it out close to the 20 yard line. Zips it complete over the middle. It's Mills out to the 35. Trading by 14. They got 36 seconds left until the halftime. Matthews gets out of bounds, pushed out by Carruthers at the 45. Matthews now 12 of 19, one interception, 162 yards. 
gets that one out to Kirkpatrick, who steps out of bounds. And Matthews is sacked. Todd McIntosh. Every time, repetition. Matthews over the middle. Kirkpatrick can't get to that one. And now here comes a penalty. And it looks Pass interference. Florida State. Matthews sacked again. The secondary looks like Mike Martin's defensive play in his outfield over at the baseball park. Tipped an incomplete. We see no markers down on the field, and with that, they head to the locker room. It is halftime here in Tallahassee. Key to this football game so far has been Casey Weldon, in my mind. He's kept the Florida defense off balance. He's been able to rush up in the pocket, and he just doesn't scramble. He throws the ball. 24 to 10. We're at halftime. That really points up that stat that we showed you in the second quarter and the fact that this is a very good Florida defense. And in the first half, the Seminoles have already put more yards up there than what they've been giving up for a game. Houston brings it out for a good return out of the 30-yard line. Flag is down. Pass over the middle is caught by McClendon, who just circled out of the backfield. Illegal procedure, Florida. Matthews on first and 15 sets the screen. McClendon, that is a great open field. He's from Miami. See the blitz coming up the middle. The pass thrown incomplete. There was a little much, and he went ahead and put him down to the ground. <laughs> Third down and eight. Matthews will be pushed out of bounds. Marvin Jones. This one kind of a knuckleball is going to take a Florida bounce and is going to be touched down at the 38 yard line. Weldon sells the fake, delivers the ball, and it is caught by Fryer, and he's broken away inside the 20. He's not wide open, but watch this catch. He reaches out. The guy's just a freshman. He spins out of it, and Matt Fryer has just made one of the nicest catches we've seen. Amp Lee. Flag comes down as Amp takes it down to the 11-yard line. And stay signaling. Offside, Florida. I mean, if Florida State puts one on the board real quick, Florida's going to have to gear it up real quick. Amp Lee. Amp Lee. Spins off the tackle of... Flag comes down to the face mask, Florida. Bennett, and he gets knifed out at the line of scrimmage. point is good and with 10 minutes and 59 seconds left in the third period Florida State leading by 21 you have given up 31 points that we still have 25 minutes left to play in this ball game. no doubt about it you've been watching the defense stop people all year and all of a sudden they can't do it Matthews pass over the middle to Kirkpatrick and he will bring it out to the 26 McClendon hit in the secondary as he breaks it through trying to turn the corner. That Eric Rett comes in and will spell him. Oh, 
Little crossing route and this tight end has the ball at the 35. Audible going to go long for Mills and contact is made and that's pass interference called against Terrell Buckley. For Shane knows the moves of Buckley because they both come from Pascagoula, Mississippi, having played high school football together. Matthews zings it too low. That's Barbary was looking for. Matthews going to scramble again. Good heavens, what a hit by Marvin Jones. They're down. They need the 40. Intercepted by Carruthers. Yeah, that's a bad pass. The front three is playing better football, giving them time to make those tackles. Ampley turns the corner, brings it out to the 35. It's going to be a gain of nine. It's run. <laughs> Thanks, Kevin. 31 to 10 are scores. We go under eight minutes to play third period. Ampley. Picking and hunting and finding his way that they lead as far as what they're doing with high school football. And Lee again and look at the stiff arm but he breaks it past Will White and then falls down at the 38 yard line. This is some football team he's got. Weldon hands it off to Amp Lee and he's going to be submarine and it's going to be Fryer. I beg your pardon. Now, Brad Johnson's the quarterback. Fryer's in at wide receiver. Third down, they need the 28-yard line. Sets the screen to the near side to Paul Moore. And Moore will spin his way down in the vicinity of the 31. And Richie is going to be trying this one from 47 yards. Got plenty of distance, and it is no good. Off to the right. Reverse Barber. Look at Mills continuing to block out there, and he gets hit way out of bounds. Number 24, Mills is doing a good job out there blocking in front of him. 14 Mills, I'm sorry, blocking in front of him. And that was a little shady right there. It was right on the line. He's not letting him across. Matthews pass overthrown. Second down and 10 from the 47. Matthews ball is caught and taken away by Mills. And now a flag comes down. Matthews underthrows it. Face mask, Florida State, five yards, first down. Incomplete, wanted Kirkpatrick. Flag goes down, pass, caught for a touchdown, that's Mills. He underthrew that one, and he got the touchdown away. Kirk Brothers was offside, so they're going to decline it. Tchaikovsky's extra point attempt is blocked. Bill Reagan's got a hand on it in the middle, and Buckley recovers it in the end zone. 31-16 Seminoles. Tenth of the year. Roland's kickoff is going to go out of bounds. Roland to kick it off again following that uh, boot out of bounds. This one to the near side. It'll come down to Terrell. Brings it all the way out to the 36-yard line. <laughs> Amp Lee breaks it out. Still on his feet. This is incredible. All the way down to the 25-yard line. What a second and then a third effort. He says we stress fundamentals, not game plan, towards the end of the year. I credit his players. <laughs> He's got some studs there. Weldon's pass is caught by Dossie. And he'll have the first down at the 16-yard line. 
Anthony will score. Receiver downfield gets a big block that spring him into the end zone. Richie Andrews converts on the extra point, and all of a sudden, Florida State is on top in this ball game, 38 to 16. But it just never know where what punch is coming from where. Richie Andrews' kick is going to glide into the end zone, and Houston will. And they have to make every play count. Rep. Bryce Abbott got to him here. Much better, much stronger up front. Matthews will get out of bounds at the 25. Swing pass to Red, and look at Marvin Jones running down. The freshman linebacker will have him. They just given him a dimension they didn't have before, and it's opened everything else up for him on their offense. Right over the middle to Red. Breaks one tackle. Boy, puts his shoulder down. He's going to have the first down. Kirk Carruthers. That pass is overthrown. Well, they've got a shot. They feel they have a shot at the national championship. You can't rest your guys when you have a chance at the national championship. That's Willie McClendon who... Third down. The line to make is the 46 of Florida State. Ball is batted right back in his face by Howard Dinkins. Fair catch is made by Buckley at Georgetown and St. John's, or uh, Georgia Tech and St. John's, I should say. Finish it moment as Amp Lee almost breaks it again. Florida State, 38. Florida, 16. <laughs> of our primetime telecast in the regular season. Amp Lee, a little stutter step, and he takes it up close to the first down. But back to you. Yeah, he really has. He's had some big ones. Had an interception. Had a big play on special teams. Weldon running for his life, and there's the All-American, Huey Richardson. He will down him at the 17. This is an opportunity to get the game close. Scotty McLaurin, his best kick of the night. This is going to come down to Barbara at the 41, and he just retreats and then goes down. And what it threatens is this game right here. Yes. If Florida doesn't want to go through that tough SEC and then have to play a team like Florida State. Can't blame him. Shane Matthews with the pass. McClendon is there at the 25, and he knocks the defensive player. You know, that's what we don't need. <laughs> Matthews going to try to get out of bounds. Whoa, it's a good thing as Reagan's... Looking for the seam, and he has the pass complete at the six-yard line to Mills. <laughs> Reagans comes in the blitz from the open side, but McClendon will take it down to the one-yard line. Really? That's his 15th tackle of the ball game, Gary. Shane Matthews, quarterback sneak for the touchdown. I think they go for two here. Took that snap off the headgear and then throws it for Kirkpatrick complete for two. Well, oh. don't go away. <laughs> now it's 38 to 22. 24 with the two-point conversion. See, all of a sudden it's back to a 14-point game. Which seems like a lot until you're talking about these two offenses. <laughs> we still have 12.38 left to play. Let's see what the Seminoles do. Oh, my goodness, what a hit. Throw it in the lake. <laughs> Weldon's pass is caught by Dawson. <laughs> Am 
Frank Lee. They're going to be my number one team for 1991 going in. Richie Andrews gets the extra point and Florida State now goes on top 45 to 24 and the numbers on amp lead 21 carries 148 yards and two touchdowns and normally that hurts you but as the season has gone on they have grown and grown Harrison Houston all the way out to the 31 yard line Screen pass goes to Rick. And he's just thrown in the gray area. I love quarterback to throw the ball downfield. Sacked by Anthony Moss. Shane's going to take this one all the way out to midfield. Run out. I'll save it for later. Back to you. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I read the other day where Florida led the nation in those uh, school license plates. <laughs> Drop play to Rhett. He'll take it down to the 25 yard line. Well, he's got 146 on two uh, completions. Over the middle, looking for Mills, and it's knocked down. Pass was just a little too late, and now there comes the flag. Pretty easy. Pass interference, Florida State. Draw play goes to Rhett, and he is going to be whacked by White. Matthews over the middle, complete to Kirkpatrick. This would make it a 13 point ball game. Barber couldn't get to it. 850 left to play in the ball game. Florida State 45 to 30. Ruland's kick is going to come down to Terrell. And he'll be stopped at the 23. But There's a dead ball. Personal foul on Florida. When you only have three defensive backs in there, they've been taking advantage of it. Three Richardson only has two tackles on the night. One of those was a big sack. And that's when you think of Florida State football, that's what you think about as quarterback. Guys like Casey Weldon. All out blitz pass is thrown complete to his tight end Reggie Johnson. Don't give me that three yards in the flat. I want it downfield. Amp Lee tries to turn the corner. That's a good defensive play by Mark Murray. McLaren gets this punt to turnover and Barber makes the fair catch. Six minutes and 31 seconds left to play in the ball game. Still plenty of time. We set the screen out to the right, and that one will go for only a couple of yards. Onside kick, you never know what happens. Pass is thrown incomplete. That one is complete over the middle to Kirkpatrick. And no matter how bad you're ding, you get, you hear about that for a while. You go with the draw play and Rhett breaks one tackle, then he really gets smashed down by Bill Reagans. Both teams came in ranked in the top 10 in the nation. <laughs> Kirk.
Kirkpatrick again will have the first down. For 73 yards. Now that's a lateral. Barber can throw, and he does. He throws it back to Matthews, who drops the ball. Drops the ball. <laughs> Complete and almost intercepted. Reagans is pleading. Throws it complete, and it looks as though Barber made his cut about a half yard short. A lot of fun next week with the hoops with the challenge going on. Fourth down and less than a yard for Florida. Flag comes down. Well, I'll tell you, they, were, they had two men in motion again. It's just another mistake. Illegal shift, Florida. Henry Ostaszewski is the man who made the play for the Seminoles. So they will not have to go to the penalty. Kind of a tough spot. Lee. He'll have about five on this, and this is a career high for him as well. Hit in the backfield, and there's Jerry Odom to knock him down 981 yards. Florida 485, Florida State 496. Markers all over the place. There's Amp Lee will get knocked out of bounds again. Brothers and Marvin Jones. I don't know if there's a better inside pair in the country than those two guys. This time, Amp Lee is not going to go anywhere. No. Gators have the block on, and this kick by McLaurin, very high. Barber makes the fair catch at the 23. If you know <laughs> Kevin, you know that's the first thing he has in his, on this trip. He just, anything he put in front of him, he's going to have to try on it. Ball is down in the sack at the 16-yard line. Because Tony Rowell went down with a knee injury early in this football game. Five sacks by Florida State tonight, and that one would have been complete to the umpire. Something that you coach your back. Watch out for that guy. Matthews tries to go for the first down. Don't know if he got it or not. Two minutes left in the ball game, and fourth down. And Matthews, ball is tipped and almost intercepted after it was tipped by Carl Simpson. And he needs a new visor after this game, too. This one's wrinkled and torn. It's got grass stains. Edgar Bennett, the junior from Jacksonville, with the carry. Elvin's just going to take a knee and finish this game off. Big win. They're going to go and play uh, Penn State in the Blockbuster Bowl. $1,000 to the U.S. Olympic team on behalf of these athletes. Clock ran down. It's going to cost him a five-yard penalty. Well, Sports Center is coming up next. We'll take a break, and then the guys will update you. This one is now history. So our final score: Florida State wins it, 45 to 30.